Welcome viewers, I am Venkatesan. Today my lecture is about exponential distribution. The question is, derive the moment generating function of an exponential random variable and hence find its mean and variance. Since it is continuous case random variable, we are going to define probability density function instead of probability mass function. The PDF of exponential distribution is given by f of x is equal to lambda e power minus lambda x where x greater than or equal to 0 and lambda greater than 0 and 0 otherwise. Let me derive moment generating function of exponential distribution. The formula for moment generating function is mx of t is equal to e of e power tx integral that is integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power tx into f of x dx. Since f of x is lambda e power minus lambda x and the limits are x greater than or equal to 0, we can replace it with 0 to infinity e power tx into lambda e power minus lambda x into dx. Since lambda is constant, you can take it common outside integral 0 to infinity e power. Here I am taking minus x common in the power. So, minus lambda minus t whole power x into dx. Integration of e power minus lambda x is e power minus of lambda minus t into x divided by minus of lambda minus t with the limits 0 to infinity here. So, here when you apply the upper limit as infinity, e power minus infinity value will be 0. So, the first term is 0 here. While applying lower limit, e power minus 0 value which is 1 divided by minus of lambda minus t. When you simplify, you will get lambda divided by lambda minus t. This is moment generating function. Next, as usual, we are going to derive mean and variance here. How to derive mean here? From moment generating function, differentiate it once and apply t equal to 0. While differentiating, it looks like differentiation of 1 by x. We know that differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So, here minus lambda divided by lambda minus t whole square into minus 1 comes here. That minus 1 get cancelled with the numerator minus. So, it will be lambda divided by lambda minus t whole square at t equal to 0. When you apply t equal to 0, you will get lambda divided by lambda square. That is 1 by lambda. This is mean. Next step. To determine variance, e of x square which is mx double dash of t at t equal to 0. We are going to differentiate this twice. When you differentiate it first time, you will get lambda divided by lambda minus t whole square. That you can differentiate with respect to t again. You will get 2 lambda divided by lambda minus t whole cube. Since differentiation of 1 by x square is minus 2 by x cube. Here, if you apply t equal to 0, you will get 2 divided by lambda square. So, variance of x is e of x square minus e of x whole square, which means 2 by lambda square minus 1 by lambda whole square. When you simplify this, you will get 1 by lambda square. Hence, we completed derivation of mg of mean variance of exponential random variable. In the next video, we discuss about normal distribution. Thank you.